Higgsfield just dropped a new image generation tool, Higgsfield Popcorn, and the buzz is that it's supposed to be the Nano Banana Killer. Now, that is a massive claim. Let's be real, Nano Banana is already fantastic at character consistency. So what's the real advantage? Well, I've been testing it, and the difference isn't just consistency, it's the workflow. Instead of generating one single image at a time, Higgsfield Popcorn lets you generate an entire visual storyboard, up to 8 shots in a single run. And it can handle multiple aspect ratios at once. Alright, so here's the Popcorn interface. You have two main generation modes, Manual and Auto. Manual is for when you want to be the director, giving you precise control over each frame. You write a specific prompt for every single scene in your storyboard. Auto mode is the fast mode. You write one overarching prompt for the whole story, and the AI generates the entire sequence for you, maintaining consistency. You can also control the number of results, the aspect ratio which is super flexible. For this test let's use manual mode to build a consistent 3-act story. I'm going to start with this one input image, a standard selfie. This will be our core character. Now, because we're in manual mode and don't have a separate master prompt, we'll embed the consistent character and feel noir style into each scene's prompt. We want to tell a story about a woman detective searching for clues in an unsolved murder case, all in a vintage black and white film noir style. Let's write our three specific scenes, making sure the character and style are clearly defined in each. Alright, we have our input image and our three detailed prompts for each act of the story. Let's hit generate and see how Higgsfield Popcorn maintains that character consistency across different scenes and actions. And here are the results. We have our detective walking down a foggy street in scene 1, then diligently working at her desk in scene 2, and finally examining the crime scene in scene 3. The key thing here is the consistency of the character. Even though she's in entirely different settings and performing different actions, it's unmistakably the same detective we started with in our input image, perfectly adapted to that gritty film noir style. So, the manual mode is incredibly powerful for precise, shot-by-shot -shot control. But what if your story has more than one key element? What if you have a specific character and a specific prop or object that needs to stay consistent? This time I'm giving it two input images. This photo of our main character, this specific orange phone, this will be our consistent prop. Now, we'll write one simple prompt in auto mode. The woman walks through Tokyo with an object from image 2, so the AI has to do a lot here. It needs to take the woman from the beach, change her clothes, put her in a busy Tokyo street, and make sure she has that exact orange phone from the second image. Here are the results. This is incredibly impressive. She is walking through Tokyo. The face, the hair, it's perfectly consistent with our input. Just in a new setting and new clothes, she's interacting with the phone. It's the exact same orange phone from our second input image down to the camera module. This is what makes the pipeline so powerful. Higgsfield Popcorn isn't just maintaining character consistency, it's maintaining object consistency too. It creates this mini world where all your key elements, characters, props and style stay consistent across every shot. So Higgsfield Popcorn is amazing at handling multiple inputs like a character and an object. But one of its most powerful features is building a story iteratively. You don't have to get it all right in one go. You can generate a few shots, pick the ones you like and extend the story from there. Let's do a test. We'll start with this one input image and use auto mode. Here's the prompt. The man walks on the New York street and meets a cat in clothes standing like a human and talks with it. And here we go. Here's our first batch. It created our character perfectly, walking down the street. And then it invented this cat character and kept it consistent across multiple angles as they're talking. We're going to extend this scene. I'll select these shots by clicking use. These generated images are now our new inputs. The AI will keep them consistent and continue the story. Now, let's give it a new prompt. Extend this sequence with shocking emotions. And here are the new results. 
this is perfect. It understood the prompt and gave us close-ups of their shocked reactions. This ability to generate, select and continue a narrative is what makes this so much more than just an image generator. It's a true storyboard tool. So, we've seen how Higgsfield Popcorn can build a story from one character, how it can add a consistent object and how we can extend that story. But what about the ultimate test of composition? What if we want to take two different characters from two different photos and place them together in a third photo setting? This is where things usually fall apart. Let's try it. We're going to use manual mode and load up three separate inputs. Our first character, the man with the beard. Our second character, the woman in the pink room. And our setting, this shot from a restaurant. Now for our prompt, we'll be very specific. Put the man from input 1 and the woman from input 2 into the setting from input 3, sitting at the table with similar poses. This is a complex request. It has to understand all three images, isolate both characters, isolate the setting and then combine them cohesively. And here is the result. Honestly, this is incredible. It's perfectly placed our guy from the car photo and the woman from the pink room into the restaurant booth. But it didn't just cut and paste them. It kept their core features, his beard and glasses, her face and glasses, but it adapted their clothing and lighting to match the scene's aesthetic. She's in a red dress, he's in a blue suit, just like the characters in the original setting photo. We've seen Higgsfield Popcorn build storyboards, handle multiple objects and combine different characters and settings. But let's go back to that original claim, is it a nano banana killer? The only way to know is a direct side-by-side -side test. Let's check out some of the test results and compare Higgsfield Popcorn to Nano Banana and Sea Dream 4. This test was simple. We have the character in a costume and then we have an image of the action pose. The prompt is to the same action pose as in the image 2. For the character in image 1, the background is plain white. Higgsfield Popcorn nailed it. It's the exact character and costume from input 1, perfectly mimicking the action pose from input 2. On this test, Higgsfield is the only one that actually understood and executed the prompt. This next test is very impressive as well. The input is this photo of two men. We have the following prompt. Give them cat heads, hairless Egyptian cat heads, the one on the left with bronze eyes, the one on the right with blue eyes. Here's the Higgsfield popcorn result and it's flawless. Here we have the results from Nano Banana and Seed Rim and you can clearly see the difference. So, my final thoughts, Higgsfield Popcorn is a massive step up. It's not just an image generator, it's a true multi-image pipeline. The way it handles character, object and style consistency across an entire storyboard and its incredible ability to follow complex multi-input prompts is something I haven't seen done this well before. I've left a link in the description so you can go and try it for yourself right now. If you like this video and want to see more AI tool breakdowns, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe and let me know in the comments what you think of these results. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.